Good day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Welcome back to Dallas Wheeler Tactics. This is my regular state of my account video that I do every Sunday. And uh, we'll go over my account in, uh, specifically, and then we'll go briefly touch or I'll kind of ramble on about what's going on in the game in general this last week. It is May the 8th, 2022. It is Mother's Day. As you see right here, right here, squad rank 183. So I think last Sunday I was 179. So I added four levels uh, onto my squad rank, which feels okay. You know, it seems fine. It feels like I'm making progression in my whole squad. Um, as you see, Black Widow here, obviously still my main as of today. Uh, but if you saw the one video that I put, I put out this week, I was uh, questioning whether or not I should switch to Spider-Man or not. My Spider-Man kicking around 930,000 power, and I finally ticked over my uh, Captain America uh, to a uh, little over 1 million power, right? I think last week he was sitting at uh, just like 995,000 or something like that. So he is officially in the 1 mil club. And then uh, Magic... Uh, uh, she dropped a lot because I took all of her Hydra gear off, and she's uh, running uh, Savage Shadowland for uh, PvE content. And then Iron Man, I haven't really touched. She's still sitting the same thing, right? But I did give him a fancy new shiny look since I transmogged a lot of gear over and uh, unlocked this costume set for him. So let's uh, dive in to right into my Black Widow. Uh, but I guess this would be a good time to talk about what's going on in the game this week. So it's it's still a quiet week. It is the prep or the run up to uh, next week, which is the big week when uh, the Scarlet Witch drops, and we're going to get the new invasion, which is going to give us new badges, and we're probably going to get a whole lot of stuff. We're getting a new companion. I do believe it's Wong. Uh, probably going to look like he did in the in the movie that just came out, the new Doctor Strange movie. Um, so yeah, so yeah, these things have been going on. As you see, I, I'm done. Like, we had the Punisher event, right? I'm done that. It's done here in two days. Uh, this one is still the daily. I recommend getting that one done. You get this little chaos box, which gives you goodies, right? It gives you some goodies. Uh, prepare for Chaos Magic is uh, is done. I'm done that one. You see, I don't have a whole lot left. Uh, but yeah, we still got this event going on in game for two more days. Two days and seven hours. So it's probably going to run up to Wednesday when we're getting the Scarlet Witch. Other than that, it's been really quiet. Uh, nothing really much to talk about. So let's look at my rankings first. How did I do this week? Um, I, I'm on holidays now, so I took, some, took a little bit of time off. I didn't play as many things as I should have. Somehow, just just playing this once a day. Um, I mean, 55th for special operations, and then these ones are all what they are, right? Didn't really... I, I missed a couple days of Omega Wars. I only did five a day of Dimension Duel. I never really tried to climb, even though I should try. I missed a bunch of days in Dark Zone. Uh, but this is kind of about where I'm settling. I think it's going to give me, what, like 350 crystals? Not a whole lot. But I'm not free to play, so there's that. Uh, if we look at my Scarlet Witch, what did I do on cards? So Omega cards. So I did get this uh, Iron Man card to six star. Um, I am going to run it, even though villain damage, it's strictly for, uh, I, I run it strictly for my PvE build. So one is my PvE, and then as you see here, two and three, uh, at two specifically, I don't know why, oh yeah, no, because I don't use three. One and two, that's PvE, PvP. Uh, I'm running the Red Skull with a cooldown card, uh, and then the crossbone set, uh, for PvE. Uh, so I did get this. Uh, I'm going to run it for PvE because, yes, it does have the villain damage, even though it does have a PvP stat. It is what it is. Uh, owned cards, what am I working on? Uh, I'm working on this card next. I'm going to get this card up next, even though it's total damage. I don't like total damage. If I really want to spend the gold, I can roll, 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 roll that till I get a PvP stat, which is probably what I should do. Um, a lot of these is what I should do. Um, but I still like these ones. They do have the, the defense pierce exclusive stat and the PvP damage increase exclusive stat. So I'm wanna, I want to work on this Doctor Strange card, and then I want to work on the Crossbones cards. And then we'll think about um, maybe this one, and then maybe this one, right? So I got 
I did actually make some decent progress on cards. So I didn't think I'd get this one to six stars so fast, but I did. So there's my cards. My companions. Let's make sure you can see all these. My head's not in the way. Uh, what did I do on companions? I did manage to get Punisher to three star. Didn't spend nothing on him. I just saved up. I had the Omega points and I got him. Uh, I pulled that uh, free three star Omega point. Or three star. What Let me show you where that one is. You know where it is. It's in the special tokens. Oh, it's not here now. But it was right here, right? Three star for 500 Omega tokens. I, I, I did buy that one. Um, so Black Widow. If this is your first time watching this. Specializations. She's a 7 on all those. Uh, and then all the minis are filled out. So right now I've been shuffling all of my uh, raid special materials. Specialization materials over to my two alts. Uh, for gear. For gear. For gear. 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 Uh, I, di I did decide uh, all of the Eye of Osiris gear is now transmogged over onto my Spider-Man. And I pulled the Hydra gear off of my Magic and I'm slowly moving it on to my Widow. And I am going to run Hydra on my Widow even though Eye of Osiris is good for her. It is better for Spider-Man. But uh, my Spider-Man and my Captain America are obviously going to need uh, a lot more work uh, before I can consider, especially Spider-Man. Um, let's actually go over and look at my Captain America right now. So my first alt, right? Got that steampunk gear on. So... You know, Captain America's good. I got whooped in uh, PvP by a, a low, like a level squad rank 150 Captain America. It's Cap, Cappy Cap boy here. I just this morning finished all of the minis on my on my cap, all of my raid specs. This took me about a month and a half to get all of this done. So sounds like a lot, doesn't feel like a lot of time. And then I got his skills that I want to run up to 5 out of 10. And I'm not taking them any higher than 5 out of 10 because then I'm going to be losing more than I'm winning. Because look at it right here. Oh, you can't see it because my head's in the way. Uh, but 60% uh, right chance now. So no real point going further. Uh, I'll move all my raid, or I have been moving now my raid specialization materials over to Spider-Man. Uh, but he's running still the Dark Domain. Uh, as you see, there's uh, one, two, three pieces of steampunk, which is best in slot for Captain America. So as I get those, they will be going over to him. So my Eye of Osiris is going to Spider-Man. Uh, steampunk is going to Cap. And I, I'm not really pulling Rise of the East stuff. But. And then if we go look at my Spider-Man, who I just started. And Cap has a full... Um, it's uh, whatever the Captain America special card is. The it's that card set. I can't remember which one, but it, they're all blues. They're all three star. Cards are cards are the stuff that really slows you down. Like you can, it seems like you can pull gear and get gear relatively quickly. Cards though seems to take forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Uh, so he's running. Uh, right, so he's 930,000 power. He's running. He's got the eye of Osiris gear on, as you see, nice and sparkly, nice and pretty. Um, so I started moving some raid special specialization materials over to him, right? And I'm going right for the big daddy of them all. Convert 4% of dodge into damage. Uh, I got to look. I got to deep dive in to see what the best are him for PvP. Because he's a PvP character. But I am now shuffling all my raid mats over to Spider-Man. Other than that, though, I'm not working on anything else. Right? Once I get all of his tree filled out and all of his abilities to 5 out of 10, I'm going to pivot back to Black Widow and 10 out of 10, the rest of hers. It feels like I'm pulling myself in too many different directions, but... I don't know. It feels right to me. Uh, magic. Let's just look at her really briefly. She dropped a lot of power. Like, I'm talking... I think she was 825 last... Uh, last... 
weak because she still had a bunch of Hydra gear on her. And I just gave her some, like, crappy... Um, she, since she's a PvE character, she's going to be getting some PvE gear, right? So she's got all this Savage Shadowland stuff, right? Three star, right? Just what I had. Uh, so she's going to get the Shadowland gear. That's what I, that's my plan, right? She's not a... It's got to go to somebody, so it's, it's going to go to her. She's going to be strictly, strictly PvE. Back to Widow. Back to the main. And you know what? You know, playing her in PvP, I, I do like my Black Widow. She's She is fun to play. I like her play style. Uh, let's see. Scarlet Witch. If people are going to ask, am I going to switch over to Scarlet Witch anytime? No. It's because I'm assuming it's going to be six months till transmute. We'll let other people run her. You know, it's not like I'm at an end game. I got a lot of development to go. A lot of, a lot of development to go. I just started on, like, what, January 10th. So it's I'm still only four months in. Almost exactly four months in. What, January, February, March, April. Yeah. So. Exactly four months in. And I feel like I'm, I'm doing good for a four-month player. Uh, again, remember, I'm not free to play. Uh, so what am I doing on her? I'm just working on, every day I'm working on cards. I'm doing everything I can in the game. I think next week, this upcoming week, I'm going to push more for higher levels in uh, Omega War and uh, Dimension Duel. See how far I can get. And uh, maybe get a little bit more crystal income. Um, but um, our, the gear is coming really slowly. I do have a lot of training grounds tickets saved up on my Spider-Man. I've been waiting for uh, a training grounds where there's a bonus drop. Um, actually, no. Spider-Man's at 120. Or he's at 120 now, so it's going to be Iron Man running training grounds. But, uh, so as soon as I run all that training grounds, I'm going to get a lot of fodder for cores and for gear. So hopefully I can start getting up some uh, of these other Hydra pieces. And I thought I had more chest pieces. Where are they? Oh, there's, there's one right there. I thought I had more than that, though. Let's go look at my inventory. I could have swore I had more Hydra gear than that. Maybe I don't. Oh, it's still on. I haven't transmute, transmuted all of it over from magic. So so there's one right there, right? There's one there. And... No, that's New Stark City. So I got a chest piece. I got another weapon. And that's it. These are Eye of Osiris. is all going over Spider-Man. Uh, the Sakaar stuff's eventually going to get in, end up on... Somebody, but I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to build up another one, but it'll sit here in the inventory until then. Obviously, Dark Domain. I got to give that over to Cap. Uh, but yeah, so I got another chest piece. I got another weapon. So I'll work on them. I'll try to. I'll, I'll try to get them going. So right now, I want to. I want to nano another piece, and I think it's going to be boots. I think I decided I'm going to keep these boots because it's called Ultimate Gauge Recovery, which is awesome for Widow. 20%, that is awesome for Widow, I'll take that. And then cooldown decrease, which I like. The HP recovery is bleh, but... You know, what is this? This has got HP recovery and HP on it. I don't think there's HP. Oh, there is HP. But really, Ultimate Gauge and uh, cooldown decrease, I think, are... are I think are, are good for Widow. And uh, these pieces don't have both, right? Stamina recovery? No. No, 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 I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so I, I can't wait till next week when Scarlet Witch drops, when we get a new invasion. We get some new stuff to do. Um, potential, I guess I never showed you guys potential. Um, where is it? Potential. So my Widow's pretty much done up, right? 15 out of 20. Uh, so now I'm not really buying any more potential for her. I'm just, as it comes in... Uh, passively through training grounds and then she'll get it but um other after this last five levels are done uh, i'm not in a, gonna go rushing out to get defense and hp max maxed i am buying the uh potential out of the consumables the five uh, for 500 crystals times five every week uh and i want to get my captain america and my spider-man up as fast as possible three characters i want three characters ready to go for PvP, once we get squad battles, and those are that, those are them. I was I was kind of developing five. I've pared it down to those three. 
Black Widow, Captain America, and Spider-Man. All right. So that's it. Um, so that's pretty much the state of my account. Uh, state of the game. Again, next week's going to be a big week. These last two weeks were kind of slow. Can't wait to dive into the new invasions. Get some more cool, sweet badges. They're supposed to increase crit chance at crit damage or reward crit chance crit damage, which is <coughs> right up my alley for a Widow. So, uh, oh, and I guess I didn't talk about her power. So, last week she was uh, 16, I think 1611, or one, 1, 1,611. She actually dropped down power because I switched out... Um, all of her red cores are now, except for that one, I got one more to do, are crit rate cores. I wanted to switch out all of her red cores to crit rates. Um, so as they came in, I got one left. So all of the blue are now defense. They were all dodge, but I was told by somebody that dodge is uh, not as effective for Widow since everybody's running accuracy to counter Spider-Mans. So all my blue cores are now uh, defense, and all my red cores are now crit rate, except for one, which I got to switch over to crit rate, and that's going to drop my power. So my power was up, it went down, and then after I equipped that six-star card, it came back up. So that's why uh, she's at 1633. All right. Okay, Till next time, guys. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, go kiss your mother. Go... Give her all the love in the world, and we'll catch you in the next one later. Bye-bye. Cheers. Peace.